Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Stoikis, and with my partner Aditya, we make up the Spring 2020 Office of the CTO's co-op group. Today we're going to be doing a demo on edge video streaming and real-time analytics. Why is this important? Well, there's a bunch of use cases. Um, specifically, we wanted to highlight the ones involving a smart city where we can make decisions based on a video camera at a traffic light, such as, oh, someone ran a red light, we need to give them a ticket, or, oh, there's a blind person at the crosswalk, we may need to trigger the light. There's also equivalent use cases in IoT, healthcare, retail, agriculture, and many other industries around the world. So we're going to go into the different main components of our demo. The first was the messaging component. For our main core messaging, we use Apache Kafka, which is a great distributed streaming platform that provides high throughput and low latency. We deployed it to our OpenShift cluster using the StreamZ operator, which made it really easy and streamless. We also deployed two other Kafka pieces, an HTTP Kafka bridge that takes in HLS, HTTP live streaming data from our simulated edge video source, which is simply pulling video from a YouTube live stream, specifically one in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and sending it to the Kafka bridge. The other piece was a Kafka K native source that allows us to connect our Kafka messaging system to a K native serverless service. The next main components were the analytics with TensorFlow serving, the main service architecture with K native, and then also our persistent storage architecture with Ceph. Essentially, the first video service uh, allows us to take in video from our Kafka messaging component and run real-time analytics with a TensorFlow serving deployment. Then we have persistent storage done with Ceph object storage, which acting as the back end for an HLS server that is completed by our video streaming service. The best part about this whole thing is that the video service and the video streaming service can scale up and down automatically because they are serverless functions. So now let's go into the actual demo. This is the overall system diagram for our demo. I'm just going to show the end video streaming service deploying and being used. So as you can see, we've already been sending during this presentation data to our Kafka HTTP bridge. So now we're ready to go ahead and deploy our video serving service. Great, it's deployed. Let's look at our cluster. We can see the service is up. Let's get the link for that service with OC get KSVC. We're going to follow this link and then type in slash video and then the name of your video that you want to watch. So in this case it's just out.m3u8 because we're actually using the HLS playlist file. And as you can see we get a live stream up that is doing real-time analytics showing cars, showing traffic lights, and any other discernible object in the video. One of the coolest parts about this demo is that we have the ability to rewind as well, since we are using Ceph as persistent storage. So I can go backwards in time and still view analytics. Thank you so much for tuning into this demo. Stay tuned for future demos and please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.